In the fixed focus system, it is very important to direct the heat of the focus to the fluid, it seems that the best method is to use copper spiral pipe, this spiral pipe has more contact with the fluid in the pipe, this video shows how to make this spiral pipe, thank you for your time to watch the video, Ebrahim Hashemi. Hello to all dear ones. I hope that wherever you are, you are well and healthy. Welcome to the fixed focus app. Today I would like to talk about the construction of the spiral tube in the focal point of the fixed focus system. Although it seems simple and there are many videos about making the spiral tube. But there is a series of contents that are rarely set. And the best focus is to use the spiral pipe and it is better than the tank or other things. This spiral tube easily transfers the high heat of the focus to the fluid. So let's go to the preparation method of this type of focus. Pipes that have good thermal conductivity are copper pipes and aluminum pipes. Of course, copper pipes transfer heat better than aluminum pipes. Copper pipes are more expensive, but their melting temperature is higher than aluminum. The melting point of aluminum is 660 degrees Celsius and it may melt in large solar dishes and when there is no fluid flow. Therefore, we will not use aluminum tube in the focus. Of course, there is no problem for the output branches of the focus and aluminum can be used. So I don't use aluminum tube. There are different types of copper pipes. And as you can see, there are types of K, L, M and DWV. The M type has a thinner wall than other types and therefore it will be lighter and cheaper. And you don't have to use thick walled pipes. Because the fluid pressure is not high in the fixed focus system, therefore, these lightweight copper tubes are suitable. But the problem of these light tubes is in bending, because it is easily blocked like the shape. A special spring can be used to bend a short path as shown in the figure. Of course, the springs that go inside the tube will have better results. But we want to bend a long length and it is not possible to use a spring. I suggest two methods. The first method is to use a number of thin towing wires that can be placed inside the pipe and after bending the pipe, pull and remove them in order. For this purpose, we dip a bunch of bicycle brake wire with appropriate length in oil and insert it into the pipe. After many bends, the wires can be removed one by one. The method you will see in this video is much easier. In this method, we first heat the copper pipe strongly, this will make the copper pipe softer after cooling. And then we fill the inside of the pipe with fine sand or ground salt. And it is better to use salt, because if the salts after bending the tube, it did not come out of the tube you can pass water through the tube and dissolve the salts in the water. Well, let's go heat the copper tube with high heat. Well, in order not to burn my hand, I hang the tube with a metal wire. Now I turn on the propane torch head. And I heat all the copper pipe strongly. And if the copper tube is reddened by the intense heat, it will soften much better. If you don't have a propane torch head, you can heat the pipe on the gas stove. The softening of the pipe makes it very easy to bend the pipe. Of course, the alloy of the copper pipe will be very effective in the resistance of the pipe. I heat the tube and allow it to cool. Now I remove the tube from the circular shape and straighten it. I think I didn't heat it well because it's still stiff. Of course, the length of the pipe is very small and I have used it in this video for your familiarity.
Now the pipe is relatively smooth and I can fill it with fine sand or ground salt and I use ground salt. Now to pour salt, I have to block one side of the pipe. I block it with pressure on one side with pliers. I put the salt in a plastic and made a small hole in the corner of the plastic. Now we carefully pour the salt into the pipe through the hole created. Now we have to hit the pipe so that the salt reaches the end of the pipe and the air inside the pipe is removed. If the tube is long, hang it from a height and then tap the pipe while pouring the salt to compress the salt inside the pipe. We continue to pour salt and tap until the pipe is completely filled. Now the pipe is full and we must block the pipe head. It needs a little more. After blocking the copper pipe, we proceed to bending the pipe. Now, no matter how you bend the pipe, its path will not be blocked. Of course, this copper pipe is because I was in a hurry, well, it has not been heated and it does not bend easily. The size of the spiral tube depends on the size of the focus. I chose a piece of pipe with a diameter of 12 centimeters. I passed the copper pipe through it and I must say that the length of the copper pipe is short and it is only used to show how to bend in this video. If the focal length is small, the size of the tube used to spiral the copper tube will be smaller. In terms of the pipe not being blocked, we are relieved. Use a better surface to shape the copper tube. It should be noted that if the shell of the copper pipe is thick, you don't need to pour sand and salt into the pipe but your pipe will be heavier.
Because the copper pipe was short, no more than three rings were made. The shape of the rings is not interesting because there should not be any gap between the mold tube and the copper tube during bending. The two ends of the copper pipe are where the hot fluid enters and exits, and by isolating them with rock wool, we pass it through the base pipe of the center and it is connected to the outlet pipes from the base of the focus. Now we cut the two ends of the pressed copper tube with hacksaw. The other end of the copper pipe is the same. We hit it to extract the salt from the pipe. If the salts in the spiral part are not removed, it is easily removed or dissolved in water by the passage of water. I hope you will prepare the spiral tube much more precisely and better. And keep this point in mind that you must use copper pipe in the focus. I hope this video was useful for you. Until the next program, goodbye.